Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Sixang, and in this video, I want to talk about five JDM cars I would like to see in Forza Horizon 5. In case you're out of the loop, a new Forza Horizon game was recently announced at E3 during Xbox's live showcase. The previous entry in the series, Forza Horizon 4, was one of the main reasons I bought an Xbox One, and I had a blast playing through that game. It was one of the games I would live stream on Mixer back in the day, and as a fan of racing games, I'm super hyped for this one. From the trailer and gameplay footage that was shown off, there were quite a few notable cars that were featured. With the game taking place in Mexico, there will be a plethora of different environments to explore, which means the game will call for all different types of cars, a staple of the Horizon series. Some of the new vehicles coming to the series include the new Ford Bronco, new Land Rover Defender, the Porsche Taycan, and many more. But one thing I couldn't help but notice was how there were no signs of any new JDM cars. Sure, the Mitsubishi Evo was one of the main cars featured in the trailer, but that's a car that's already been available in the Horizon series. Not complaining, by the way. I was just left a little unsatisfied with the lack of representation for some of the new Japanese cars, which is why I decided to make this video. If you'd like to see more content like this, make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button. Let's jump into the list. If you played Horizon 4, you probably remember the lack of Toyota vehicles during the launch of the game. For one reason or another, Toyota decided to not feature their cars in racing games like Need for Speed and Forza anymore, which was a bit strange because they used to be very prominent in these game series. There were murmurs that Toyota had entered an exclusive partnership with the Gran Turismo series, but I'm still unsure about the validity of this story. If you know anything about this, please leave a comment down below. As time went on, Toyota eventually made a return back to the Horizon series after the release of Horizon 4. The Mark IV Supra was featured as an unlockable vehicle in one of the game's seasonal events, and was soon followed by other Toyota vehicles, like the original 86 Trueno, Lexus ISF, LFA, and many others. As a fan of Toyota, I was really happy to unlock these cars, but there was one Toyota that I was still longing for, and that was the 2020 Toyota Supra. Yes, we've heard the joke so many times, nice BMW, but at the end of the day, the Toyota Supra is a great sports car. While not a pure Japanese sports car like the previous Supra, this car may have never existed if it wasn't for the partnership formed between BMW and Toyota. The 2020 Z4, the Supra's brother, was featured in Horizon 4, but the 2020 Supra was nowhere to be found. This vehicle has been heavily requested by the Horizon community, and I'd imagine if Toyota were to be included in Horizon 5, this car would be a guaranteed feature. Next up, we have another Toyota I want to talk about, the GR Yaris. This car unfortunately is not available for purchase in the US, but I've seen plenty of journalists and news outlets praise this car's existence. The GR Yaris is the epitome of an awesome hot hatch. Manual transmission, all-wheel drive, and 257 horsepower coming from a 1.6 liter, three-cylinder turbocharged engine. Looking at the specs, you can understand how this car has become one of the most praised new performance hatchbacks. The GR Yaris was created for rally racing, which explains why it came out to be so awesome. Rally cars in the Horizon series are some of my favorite cars to drive. They give you the versatility of being able to drive off-road at high speeds, while also maintaining great handling in most situations. With the diverse environments presented in Horizon 5, the Toyota GR Yaris would fit right in. With the implementation of Toyota back into the Horizon series in Forza Horizon 4, we also received some great Lexus performance models, notably the LFA, RCF, and ISF. But since the release of these vehicles, Lexus has introduced some new cars that we have not yet seen in the Horizon series. The Lexus model I want to talk about in specific is the IS500. Although not yet available for sale at the time of making this video, the IS500 is slated to go on sale in the US during fall of 2021. In all likelihood, it should start hitting dealerships before the release of Horizon 5, so I feel like it could be a possibility that we see it in the game. The IS500 is a pseudo-spiritual successor to the Lexus ISF, which was discontinued at the end of the 2014 model year. The biggest draw to the ISF and IS500 is that they both offer a naturally aspirated V8 with over 400 horsepower, with the IS500 putting out about 472 horsepower, according to Lexus. In a world where vehicles with V8s are few and far between, Lexus is making one last push to put out unique gas-powered performance vehicles before the auto industry turns fully to electrification. I, for one, respect the hell out of that, and love to see so many Japanese manufacturers creating performance vehicles once again. 
because it very may well be the last opportunity they have to make vehicles like this. Now, let's talk about a car that isn't a Toyota product, the Nissan 400Z, or how Nissan is codenaming it, the Z Proto. This vehicle will be the successor to the Nissan 370Z, which has been in dire need of a redesign. If you aren't aware, Nissan as a company has been going through quite a bit of restructuring due to their poor sales, declining reputation, and aging model lineup. It's great that they've been making moves to help get their company back on track, and the announcement of the Z Proto has been one of the main Nissan highlights for car enthusiasts. Officially unveiled in 2020, the Nissan Z Proto should be going on sale for the 2022 model year. There will be a Nissan event held in August of 2021 to go over more details on the car, but for right now, there's limited info available on 370Z's successor. What we do know is that the vehicle will have a manual transmission available, it will come with a V6 twin turbocharged engine, and will be a direct competitor to the Toyota Supra. I can't imagine Nissan not including this new car in Horizon 5, since they definitely could use the exposure for their brand. Previous Nissan performance vehicles have been staples to the series, so I'd imagine once more news is released on the Z Proto, the more realistic it'll be that we see it in her Forza. The last vehicle I would like to talk about on my list is actually a pair of twins, the 2022 Toyota GR86 and Subaru BRZ. Toyota and Subaru partnered up a few years ago to create the FRS and BRZ, an affordable rear-wheel drive entry-level sports car with a four-cylinder boxer engine. They are almost the exact same car, just badged differently, kind of like the current Supra and Z4. Also worth noting is that the FRS later became known as the 86, once Scion became a defunct Toyota brand. And now, Toyota and Subaru have decided to create a second generation for these vehicles, with a bit more power and more modern styling. As I mentioned earlier, these two models are slated for the 2022 model year, and are sure to be a hit with JDM fans and tuners in the car community. Because they are relatively affordable compared to other performance vehicles, it opens up a realm of possibilities for both performance and visual modifications for owners. They also make for some pretty great drift cars. I'd be surprised if these two didn't make their way into Horizon 5, so we'll have to wait and see. With this list of JDM cars, I wanted to be pretty realistic on what could be included in Horizon 5. This list contained a lot of Toyotas, but that's mainly because Toyota was late to the party in Horizon 4. At the time of making this video, I don't believe any official car lists have been released for the game, so it'll be neat to look back on this and see what is and isn't included in Horizon 5. So. Now that I've gone over my list, let me know in the comments down below what new JDM cars you'd like to see in Horizon 5. Or go a step further and list any new car you'd like to see in the game. American, Italian, German, etc. There's so many cool cars produced all over the world, and I'm happy the Horizon series celebrates any and all makes and models. Anyways, that's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed watching this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more gaming related content. I like to create variety of videos like this and gaming reviews, so be on the lookout for more content coming very soon. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.